So what's going on guys, it's a GPH Streams here once again back with another episode of the Seven Nights Idol Adventure and I already saw him on this new hero that would be Chom Young and uh, well, this is uh, 10,000 summons as you can see and I made this hero to 7 stars already and this hero is already at the level 60 and uh, just a recap, let's check first before we test this hero. So it deals damage equal to 1,250% of attack to the target and obtain some Master of the Blossom Blade buff for 10 seconds upon successful attack and this master of the blossoming blade increases a crit hit rate by 20 percent and the final accuracy by 50 percent and of course uh, we have here some crit hit attack in which it deals damage equal to 300 percent of attack to the target and can grant strike level 5 to, to all allies for two seconds upon successful attack and also grants the blessed a dragon of the mountain of the Mount Wa buff to the caster for two seconds. And this a strike a buff to all allies, guys. And this a bless the dragon of the Mount Mount Wa only buff his self. So, guys, uh, let's uh, check this hero. So, initially, these are the stats of this hero at uh, normal state. That would be the attack speed uh, is a uh, 175, and we have here the crit damage that is uh, 2345, and we have here a crit rate or a basic crit rate that would be only 43. 0.32% by checking here the uh, dice of this uh, hero I use here a combination of crit uh, damage and also attack so we have here plus 36 32 32 32 okay and I use that in order not to waste some dices or uh, materials here so what I did was for example let's press this uh, auto grant and I choose this two so that is why I arrived with the attack and the crit hit damage in order to save resources, guys. And uh, going back, we have here an accuracy also that is a 56,000. So by checking here our active skill, once he casts this active skill, actually it increases his crit hit rate by 20% and the final accuracy by 50%. And we should check this out during the battle. And also, we have here the strike. That is a uh, all allies buff, inclu including himself, and also this is also a uh, self buff that is plus twenty percent. So let's uh, find some uh, decent uh, opponent here. For example, let's uh, change stage and maybe we can uh, summon this boss. That would be Shang Yu. Okay. So in this state, we can clearly see the attack speed that is already two hundred and three, and we have a crit hit rate that is sixty three point thirty two percent. And also, we have an accuracy here that is uh, 84,000 already. So, uh, most of you will ask, does Teo's attack speed buff stacks with this hero? So, let's uh, put a uh, Teo, guys. Okay, here is Teo. And so, let's uh, check first, guys, the uh, skill details of Teo, in which uh, this uh, grants a uh, full moon buff to allies for two seconds upon successful attack. And uh, this full moon increases attack speed by 24%. And if you will check my, the build of my Teo here, this is a full crit rate Teo. So that is why we have a uh, high crit rate here that is at 32.31%. Uh, so uh, let's uh, try this, guys. Let's see. And initially, we have here the attack speed that is a uh, 175. And if we will summon the boss, okay, this uh, collab hero will cast his... Uh, active skill and then it became uh 238 oh we, we cannot see that uh, let's uh, retry again let's retry guys so let's uh, summon the boss and then cast the active skill that is already okay 209 and okay that's 238 so teo teo's attack speed buff stacks with this hero guys take a look at that that is already 238 wow <laughs> And this is without the uh, food. So if we will place here some uh, food buff, for example, or dishes. Okay, let's use this for example. Okay. So we have here now the food. And by checking here the attack speed, that is 196. Then it will become 231. And that will be 259 attack speed, guys. Including food buff or dish. Wow. So uh, what about Dalon's buff? So if we will check here the uh, skills description, that would be strike level 5. And if we will check here uh, Dalon's, for example, Dalon's here has a strike level 5 too. Okay, so we have here the same uh, keyword, strike level 5. So those uh, buffs with the same keyword does not stack together, guys. So let's uh, try this. 
So initially we have here a uh, 2697 of uh, crit hit damage and uh, if we will summon the boss let's see the 2697 will actually become 3166 and uh, for example if we will place here Delons where's that Delons my god okay we have your Delons now let's see uh, if it will increase so that that okay that is still the same guys that would be 3166 it is still the same so those uh, crit damage buff from uh, Delons and also from this uh, Chong Mung does not stack together so better we should remove here Delons so what if guys uh, we will use only one hero here for example that a collab hero only so let's check if uh, this hero is an independent hero so by checking here initially together with that uh, dish buff we have already here that is a 58.32 percent crit hit rate so if you will solve on the boss for example we can clearly see here this uh, 58.32 that would be become 78.32 percent this is the reason why i built this hero as attack and crit damage and it would be best to build this hero with a full crit damage on its potential. But in order to save resources, it would be also best to use a combination of attack and crit damage. So uh, going back to our hero here, in order to save resources, just put attack and crit damage. And if you have lots of resources, put full crit damage, guys. That's what I suggest. So moving forward, let's uh, try this uh, team on the higher stages, like uh, for example, uh, 11,000 plus stage. So these are the heroes that I use currently. Uh, we have your Rin, uh, Chong Myung, Jong Yu Q, San Wukong, Lobo, Rachel, Aileen, Yonhi, Teo, Ace, Ingrid, and uh, Zhang Yu. But uh, later on, guys, if uh, the developers will release some independent heroes or three more independent heroes, Maybe we can remove Rachel, and Rachel will be gone from this team. So anyway, let's uh, try this team, guys. So this is already at uh, 11,317. But of course, this is only a test. Okay, let's uh, challenge this boss. That would be Lucy. So checking here, Lucy. Wow. We'll check the uh, buff of these uh, heroes, guys. Okay, uh, first, uh, let's uh, check this on Jong Yuk Yu. I use here Jong Yuk Yu because... Uh, he has a high stars. <laughs> and as you can see, we have a crit rate that is 98.32%. My God. And some crit damage that is a 3,000. And uh, we have here also, okay, the attack speed of this uh, increases to 285%. And uh, weakness attack rate, that would be 63.76%. On the Shang Yu, we have here 79% crit rate. 3,000 crit damage, guys. As you can see, attack speed 200 and. 42 on Zhang Yu. And uh, this is a weakness attack rate. Okay, from a 59, that would be 80, 83. On in this Lobo, we have here 87% crit rate, 3000 crit damage, and attack speed that is at 220. So let's focus only on this crit damage, guys, because of the buff of uh, Chong Myung. And next, on uh, Ayo, initially Ayo have a uh, 2600. And uh, plus the buff of uh, Chong Myung, that will be 3,074%. Next, okay, Chong Myung, that is 3,166. And take note, that crit rate, together with Rachel, that is already 98%, almost 100%, guys. And also, if we will check here, Ingrid. We're checking here, Ingrid, initially, we have a crit rate that is a 62%. And, wow, 3,125 crit damage. And on uh, Yon He, my god, it is over 100% crit hit rate. And we have your 3,700 crit damage, guys. Take a look at that. Wow. And next, that would be our Rachel here. Uh, okay, Rachel will soon disappear, guys. Or maybe can be replaced by uh, future heroes. We have your 3,166 crit damage. And on this Eileen, of course, Eileen is already uh, replaced by uh, Doc Jakim. So since I don't have a Dr. Kim, I use Eileen here. And we have here also Rin. So uh, initially we have here 2,800 and it became 3,800 with that uh, crit damage. And also Ace. Take a look at that Ace. <laughs> that is 101 crit rate. And also 3,300 crit damage, guys. 
and also San Wukong we have here 3200 from 2750 crit damage my god take a look at that wow so guys uh, based on the kit also on the skills description and the uh, test of this new hero Xiong Mil I think this hero is best on uh, PvE guys and also is most especially on single target enemies and although it deals a 1250% attack to the target and uh, we have here some crit hit rate buff that is 20% he can be also used on a PvP but I think that is not great but of course for uh, new players especially for uh, players who just uh, joined the game uh, maybe uh, two months or one month ago you can use this uh, hero on uh, PvP. Yes, it is best also to use this on PvP. Provided you should put here some crit hit resist on this uh, brook. So that uh, this hero will stay longer in a uh, PvP. But I strongly suggest use this hero for PvE purposes only guys. So anyway guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video. <laughs> and see you again on my next uh, hero guys bye bye